back to George's Gaming Guide. So today, as you can see, I'm going to be building the Imperial, the UCS Imperial Shuttle. Uh, I am going to be building this with my dad. So, um, the set number is 10212, and this is episode 12 out of 13 of the UCS series. So episode 13 is going to be the UCS Republic gunship, so that's going to be pretty cool. So I'm building that on live streams at the, at the moment. So, if we get back to this, so there are 2,503 pieces in the model, so that is absolutely ridiculous to have over 2,500 pieces, I just thought it came with an absolutely ridiculous amount. So there are five minifigures in this, three are unique, they are Luke, a Imperial pilot and a Imperial officer slash captain. Now the other two minifigures are a Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. So this set is 28 inches or 71 centimetres tall when it is on the stand and it is 22 inches or 57 centimetres wide when the wings are deployed. So if we just have a look at the back of the box, if I can turn it around. Come on, 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 come on. Sorry, it's just really big and really unsteady. I think that that has got everything. Yeah, okay, it's got everything on. So, it looks like um, the landing gear on the model you can actually take off. That's pretty interesting. So there's a cockpit which can fit four of the characters in, so that's pretty cool. So then we have got the, that the wings rotate, that there's a lever on the back that actually makes the wings rotate. Um, it's showing like how all the cogs move, and the, on this bit the um, front and back of the roof can come off. And this is showing it on the stand as well. And yeah, so I think I've gone over all the details about model. So without further ado, let's get straight into building.
So this is the finished model and all in all it does look absolutely amazing. But just before we get onto that, let's have a look at this. So we've got the lonely stormtrooper at the bottom, the information black and this um, little bit so when the shuttle slots into it, it blends in. So three things about the stand. One reason model isn't on stand is because it would be quite far off the camera so that isn't... Um, so that would be a bit bad because we won't actually be able to show the whole model. So that is quite interesting. So two, um, you can't have the landing gear on when the model is actually on the stand as well. And three, when it's on the stand, it's mainly meant to be in like flight mode so that it looks like it's flying. And I'll show you that mechanism in a bit. So now if we have a look at the main model. So if we have a look at the cockpit, so actually you might be able to see the minifigures if you look through the C3 bit on the cockpit. So next. So if we have a look at the minifigures on the inside, sorry, we won't be able to get you a, a really good view of some picture of a line of the minifigures come up in a minute. Um, so if we have a look, so we have got a clone, uh, no, sorry, not clone trooper, a Imperial um, Lieutenant Staff Captain, there we go, remembering the names now, the Imperial Pilot Luke Darth, and of course the Stormtrooper, so... Um, a second ago, a line should have come up with the um, with the minifigures. So then, if we have a look at the wings and that mechanism that I was saying, so if we um, just show, if I just show you, so the wings actually do move. So I'm just gonna move this to the side so I get whack by the wings. Still might. So it can actually fold the whole way around. And same with this wing it does fold as well and it is just absolutely incredible that lego has been able to do that with a lego set i just think that it is super impressive how well they've been able to engineer that sorry just trying to slowly get this going back up and it's also really hard to steady this model because there is so it's so big that when you're steady in the back the front goes up when you're steady in the front the back goes up so that is quite interesting so overall view of the model um i would really recommend this for someone that really likes technic and ucs lego sets it's just really good combination of both um and yeah so it's just an absolutely incredible model the build quality is amazing playability there's a reasonable amount but it's mainly used for display and yes yeah, so i just need to give a huge thanks to my dad for building this with me and a huge thanks for lego putting this out to the public when they did and yes yeah, so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time so if you enjoyed this video make sure that you like subscribe and leave a comment on what you think about the set and next sunday's video is going to be the ewok attack